Mayor Kevin Faulkner's climate action plan calls for a lot of things, like reducing car use and boosting recycling. But one of the biggest is... By moving San Diego toward a goal of 100% renewable energy. Renewable energy means power that comes from sources that don't deplete over time. Right now, San Diego Gas and Electric provides San Diego's power. The utility says 32% of its energy is renewable. Getting to 100% would likely involve something with the bulky name Community Choice Aggregation. But what is it? Here's Ty Tosdall, a lawyer who helped Marin County in Northern California set up Community Choice. Okay, so Community Choice Aggregation is the name of an alternative energy program. And that program is similar to a utility in the sense that it serves residents and businesses, but the similarities stop there. It is not-for-profit, uh, it is overseen by local government, um, it is completely optional for customers, so if customer does, does not want to participate in the program, they can uh, go with the utility. Here's how it works. Right now your power comes through SDG&E's system of lines and wires. SDG&E buys the electricity from a variety of sources, including natural gas plants, hydroelectric dams, and wind turbine farms. If the city goes with Community Choice Aggregation, or CCA, our power would still go through SDG&E's grid, but the city would buy the energy, not the utility. The CCA programs do not actually deliver the power. That function stays with the utility. Um, so the CCA program buys the power, interacts with customers who choose to participate, and then the power is still delivered by the utility. The idea is to give the city more control over where the power comes from, which would help achieve its goal of getting all energy from renewable sources by 2035. If the city sets a goal like that, it has no ability to require the utility to play along and achieve that goal. The CCA program can help advance that goal. Under community choice programs, utility customers decide where their energy comes from. Residents can choose a plan that uses only renewable energy, which might cost more, or a plan that costs less and uses less renewable energy. Or customers can opt out of the program altogether and stick with SDG&E. A spokeswoman for SDG&E said in a statement that the utility, quote, supports a customer's right to choose its electricity service provider, including community choice aggregation. Legally, SDG&E isn't allowed to lobby against community choice, but Nicole Capretz is still expecting a fight over it. She heads the nonprofit climate action campaign that will act as a watchdog over the city's climate action plan. The original version of the plan, which she wrote for city councilman Todd Gloria, said community choice aggregation would be used to get to 100 percent renewable energy. In Mayor Faulkner's version of the plan, it says, quote, community choice aggregation or another program. Capret says she doesn't think another program would work. From what I can see, the city needs to have full control over the solution to get us to 100% renewable energy. And Community Choice Energy is really the only policy platform that allows us to have that control. Faulkner told KPBS Evening Edition that he's going to look at a variety of ways to reach that 100% goal. Put all options on the table because it's important that we achieve that goal. It's In the next year, we'll find out what those other options might be and whether San Diego's elected officials will support community choice aggregation. A study on whether the program would work in San Diego and how much it would cost will be released soon. Claire Tregesser, KPBS News.